taking a peek at the first row of the Nautilus, this is nice. It's luxurious. It's just got this premium feel to it. We've got this nice glossy highlight along the door that follows all the way throughout the dash of the vehicle there as well, out to the passenger side. And like the lower part of it is like this nice wood finish. It looks really sharp. Now, there are a few things about the interior here. We've got a few different color choices that are available. And then even that wood grain that's on the dash, if you're not a big fan of that, from the factory, you've got a few different options. You could always look at some aftermarket 3M wrap or other options there too. Like there, it's essentially sky's the limit. But I mean, the design elements inside this are really, really nice. We do have the option for 22-way power adjustable seats. And when we do that, we've got a boatload of different options that are along the left side of the driver, right-hand side of the passenger. And I mean, like, it's crazy. Like, we can move the leg cushions independently of one another, easily move the seat forwards, backwards, up and down, adjust our backrest. Like, we can even... We can get the headrest going. Like, it's crazy. Forwards, backwards on the headrest. And then when we get this multi-way adjustable seat, like the power, 22-way power seat, it also has the option for massage capability. So nice. And those massage settings, we can adjust right through the middle screen here, but we've got massage seat capabilities and then through the Sync 4 media screen, we also have more in-depth settings for the seat. Like we can get it to literally hug us as we go. It is really, really nice. We do have a series of different speakers that are available in this vehicle. I mean, this thing, it sounds... <laughs> amazing and that was like half volume like the audio inside of this thing is incredible so if you're an audiophile you absolutely want to go with the upgraded audio system the revel audio system inside of this is incredible and like the screen is beautiful with the startup animation as well it looks really really sharp i like it stick on the left hand side is obviously for turning we've got a button on the tip of that stick to turn our lane keeping system on or off right stick is for our front and for our rear windshield wipers there's a button on the very tip of the right stick for the wiper in the back we do have paddle shifters inside of this thing which is fantastic you don't have to use them there's no way to turn it off but you don't have to use them at the same time it's more just if you want to improve your performance you can drop down gears as necessary which is great now the steering wheel inside of the nautilus is also going to be power telescoping and that's just done by our left knee so we can go in out up and down with it and then one great setting is that we can take our steering wheel setting we can set our seat the way that we'd like it to we can adjust our side view mirror and then along the door here we can press and hold either one two or three in order to save our own unique profile so we've got three different settings that are available there if you're looking for more of an in-depth look on the steering wheel cluster, the media screen, check down in the description below. I've put together some comprehensive videos explaining how everything works. But we've got adaptive cruise control settings on our left side. You can find a walkthrough on that video down in the description. We've got a voice command prompt where we'd be able to change songs, radio stations. We can navigate using our voice. And then one really cool thing is that we can even do things like change the temperature using our voice as well. It's a really great setting. But, I mean, the steering wheel itself is fantastic. Nice leather wrapped all the way around with heated steering wheel there that it's available. We can easily turn that on by hitting the menu button in the center stack. And then that just turns, that gives us that option of adjusting there. But I, I like the Sync 4 media screen. Like when, for, uh, when Lincoln, so Lincoln, Ford, both, same, sister from another mister. But when they introduce the Sync 4 screen into the Nautilus, they, I love it. The big benefit is that it's got wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities. So if your phone supports it, you do have that available there as an option, which is great. But we do have factory navigation built into this as well as a, a number of great things. So some basic highlights, we've got AM, FM, Sirius XM, and a ton of other options there. We can hook up our phone. If we wanna just use regular Bluetooth, we would have that flexibility. But if we hook up through Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, depending on the system that you use, you can use Google Maps, Apple Maps, or Waze right through the middle screen. We can create unique profiles for different drivers. So if you wanna tie it to the key fob, you could do that. It would remember your seat settings. It would remember all of your preferences, like your presets for your audio and things like that. It's really neat. 
we've got options for driver's seats. We've got our passenger seat for making it hug our seats a little bit, making our hug our body, I should say, a little bit more. Um, if you don't have the multi-way adjustable seats though, those settings just aren't gonna be there. We also do have ambient lighting and it is multi-color ambient light, which is great. So we can easily choose our light source and then our light source, our color. And then from there, it's gonna show in our cup holders and then a few other strategic parts of the vehicle like by our feet, et cetera. It's, it's really neat. Uh, one cool thing, this vehicle also does have park assist. So there's a little P button there. So it can either help us with navigation to parking or a generic park assist where it can help us out with parallel parking, perpendicular parking or parallel park out. And if we hit our left turn stick, it's gonna adjust if it's looking on the left or the right hand side. Really, really useful video that I've put together on this thing. You can find it in the description. From there, there is a 360 camera here as an option, which is great. I mean, it pulls up nicely on the screen there. And it's really neat because it utilizes the sensors around the vehicle. So as we're kind of getting closer to an obstacle, it's gonna beep at us and let us know, hey, something's not right. It's kind of neat. We've got a series of different driver assistance settings. And then we've got our beautiful piano key shifter. So park reverse neutral drive. And this one does have a dedicated sport mode button. We've got dual zone climate control, as well as the option for heated and ventilated first row seats. And the ventilated option is gonna depend in the states on which trim level of the vehicle that you're in. So I'm in Canada and this is the reserve trim level of the vehicle. And I mean, the seat, like it's so comfortable inside of this, but you're gonna have leather seats in every trim level of the vehicle. The big difference is going to be that when you're in certain ones, like when you're in like say, the black label, which is a US exclusive, you're going to have very different style seats. It's, I've seen it in, not in person, I've seen it online. It just, it looks fantastic. It's just that little bit of extra, like it's just that little bit different than the reserve model that we've got up in Canada. And like the headspace in the first row is respectable. So like I'm six feet tall and I've got like three and a half, four ish inches of headspace there, which is fantastic but this is nice. Now, as we move down the center stack here, so we do have, I mentioned all of our heated seat cool buttons. We've got this little tray as well, and we've got a few PowerPoints in there. So there's a USB, USB-C, as well as a wireless charge pad. Now, one neat thing, just because of the way that, oh, this thing is designed, if we look right underneath, we've got two individual storage trays there as, um, on top of that. So if you want some top bottom storage, that is available as an option. I did mention we've got cup holders that feature ambient lighting. And then we've got an armrest that has two tiered storage. So we push the button on the left hand side, so closer to the driver, and that's gonna pop up. But we've got a little tray here as well. And that tray is technically something we can lock up. But when we look inside here, we do have a regular 12 volt, well, a 12 volt power point in there as well. So a regular cigarette lighter adapter. Nice amount of storage space there as well. I love all the different highlights. Like that cool, like that nice glossy highlight that we saw along the door. It's got this nice like chrome look underneath. That follows all the way throughout the center stack. Like all the way through, we've got that nice glossy highlight there as well. There is an auto dimming rear view mirror here. So we can't turn it off unfortunately, but the auto dimming functionality is there. Shooting up overhead, we've got all of our cabin control lights. And then this one has the panoramic sunroof as well, which I mean, it just looks so nice. So we've got a few buttons there. One of them is to control the shade. So a single button press should close it half. Yeah, single button press opens and closes it halfway. And then that secondary button press opens it up the full way. We can vent this thing out if we want to, create a nice cross breeze, or we can push away. Let there be light. And it's just gonna open things up beautifully. So nice. I'm just a big fan of sunroof, so like ha even if you don't have it open, just the fact that it opens things up so nicely, it's, it's beautiful. I love it. There is a sunglasses holder up overhead there as well. If you've got a garage door opener at home, we can easily program it in. We've got our, um, or we've got our home link system there. We've got a visor, vanity mirror as well. Hello. Built-in lights, and then we can extend this thing out. It's not gonna block all the sun, it's most of it. You might still get, depending on how far you sit towards the steering wheel, you might get a teeny little bit just on the left side there. But I mean, it's nothing too crazy. But outside of that, 
We've got an assist handle there, driver passenger side in the first row, which is great. Let's hop back to that second row and see what's going on space-wise. Well, so second row of the Nautilus is nice. It's nice, it's comfortable. Not as comfortable as the first row seats, and that's just because this one has the upgraded multi-way adjustable seats, so the massage seat, fantastic. But this is nice. So if we look at just regular headspace, so like hopped in, first impression headspace, it's tight with the seat all the way upright. So with it all the way upright, my head is like literally touching the very top here. But one great thing, we've got a little lever just by our left side there, and we can actually take that. So we can use it if we want to fold the seat down, but we can also extend it back if we want to. And I mean, that creates a good amount of headspace there. So I went from no headspace to about two and a half roughly inches of headspace there max. I don't think I can get much more out of that. Yeah, I'm about two and a half inches of headspace at the very most inside of the second row of the Nautilus here. I and mean, as I mentioned, I'm six feet tall. So like six two, six three, probably comfortably able to sit inside of this thing. But the seat comfortability is great. And one thing that I love about the Nautilus is how wide the vehicle is. Like having three full-size versions of me inside of this car, it's not gonna be an issue whatsoever. It's so like the big thing is always in this middle seat. Like it'll be a little bit tight if you've got three full-size versions of me. But I mean, if you had a younger family, smaller friends, whatever the case may be, you're not gonna have an issue getting three people back here at all, which is great. You have your fur baby, etc. So this is nice though, but some nice highlights. Like we saw all of those great glossy highlights along the door that follow back through to the second row here. Got that same nice leather, follow those all the way throughout the door, the seats. It's nice. Highlights along the door here. So we've got our basic cup holders there. We do have pockets behind the driver as well as the passenger side. And then if we move down, we've got a few buttons there. So we've got heated outboard seats, and that's an option for the driver passenger side. Middle seat inside of the Nautilus is never gonna be heated. We've also got a little hideaway, like the little tray thing, I guess, where we've got a regular wall outlet and two USB-C ports. So power points all over the place inside of this because we've got two in the front there, two USB ports, and then two USB in the back. But overall, this is nice. And we do have, two cup holders here, which is great. So just built right into the seat. And then I did mention, we've got our bottle holders along the door. So along the driver passenger door. Now, if you've got kids, front facing, rear facing seats, not gonna have an issue. We had to have all of our anchor and tether points in the vehicle on top of that. I've got a good amount of knee space though as well, which is fantastic. So knee space is great. Width and the shoulders is, is good. This is a comfortable ride. I like it. now. A few things, we don't have the option for tri-zone climate control inside the Nautilus, so it's strictly dual zone for the first row. So whatever the driver's seat set to, that's what we're gonna have blowing through the vent in the back here. But I mean, here nor there, it would be cool to see second row ventilated seats. <laughs> don't think that's gonna come as an option though, but it would be really cool to see that back here. Up overhead, we've got another assist handle. There's a little hook as well as a little light, which is kind of nice. But outside of that, we don't have many other features in the second row. It's nice, it's simple, it's clean. I like that we've got the speakers along the door on top of that. So it's just that idea of the, the added immersive audio experience. It sounds amazing.